Bom dia mundo. It is a new day. It rained like crazy last night. Completely soaked. Felt like being back in Thailand. The sun is out this morning and we are going to Serra de Estrela, which is the highest mountain point in central Portugal. Quite excited about that. You know, I love a mountain. You can drive all the way to the top, which is a good thing because I'm not going to subject Sasha to any hardcore hiking right now. She's obviously heavily pregnant. So let's go and do some exploring and if we really like it, we're going to go back and do some more exploring around there because I'm pretty sure there's a lot to see up there that we won't get to do in one day. Ready to go? Yeah. You okay back there? Beautiful dog? Yeah, I've got my fleecy on. <laughs> Alright, let's go. As a driver, every now and again, I've got to get out of the car and just stop and appreciate the view because you can't really see it all when you're driving. That's what I'm looking at right now. Stunning scenery. Beautiful. Look at that. It's actually quite warm out too. It's about 18 degrees, but it feels good in the sun. Nice, eh? Very nice. Yeah. It smells nice too. Yeah. I don't know what the elevation is, but pine can be smelt again. <laughs> <laughs> so we're getting up there. Come out for a quick wonder. <laughs> Looking at the view. It's a stunning view, isn't it, Eden? Yes, it's beautiful. But I'm looking at the grass right now, it's more interesting. That's yours now. We're just admiring this property up here, thinking what an amazing view they must have. I think that would be my dream kind of view. Back in you go. Um. Scratch. <laughs> it's an 85 kilometer drive, it takes about an hour and a half. So not that much longer to go, probably about 50 minutes. We're back in the car, we've got about another 39 kilometres to go. It's a really, really stunning drive though, so many pine trees and driving through all these lovely little villages, very, very pretty. It has been a really pleasant drive so far. The roads are quite quiet, not many other cars on the road it seems and it's just been really nice and pleasant. The roads have got quite windy now though, so it might take us a while to do that last 30, 40 kilometres or so. We're in the real windy mountain roads now. It's like driving on the Mayhill Song Loop, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and the views are wow. just as lovely, if not better. <laughs> it's amazing. Wow. entered the Serra de Estrella National Park and we're greeted by a goat herder and his herd of goats. <laughs> we are at an altitude of a thousand meters so far and according to the sat nav we've still got about 17 kilometers to go till we get to the top and the viewpoint. About 20 minutes I'd say. Still not at the top, but I felt like I needed to get out again to appreciate the driving views. I'm missing it all. You feeling chilly? It's getting colder now, isn't it? It's 12 degrees now, apparently. Yeah. We're now 1300 metres elevation, getting pretty high. Another 15 more minutes, I think. Sir. <laughs> I wonder if Eden's going to be freezing. Yeah. We brought her little jumper with her so she can put it on if she's too cold.
the end point now, we're nearly there. It really is incredible up here. No idea it would be like this, it's absolutely stunning. Right, we made it. It is so amazing up here, absolutely stunning. And the clouds are moving super fast, but it is six degrees. So time to put on the fleece jumper. <laughs> Eden is not the only doggy up here. There's a Weimar right now. And this woman's got shorts on, she must be freezing. Whee! It's having fun. Okay, we ventured out of the car into the fridge temperatures, standing underneath this castle looking thing. And there's a little, um, I'm gonna call it a little supermarket thing up here. They have toilets and they sell cheeses and preserved meats and jams and toys and stuff like that. We just went in there to the toilet, but we're gonna walk around first in case the weather changes and takes a turn. Am I putting on my jumpers? <laughs> I'm a bit shivery. Wee coming in you. We are almost, almost 2,000 meters high. I think this point is exactly 1997. So if I could jump three meters, I would clear the 2,000 mark. <laughs> and my hands are feeling it, they're freezing. But on a clear day, apparently you can see up to 100 kilometers away. What amazing scenery, eh? It is. Beautiful. <laughs> wow, it's like being on another planet. Can I just say that I absolutely love it? I absolutely love it up here, Mum. I've been running around like crazy. <laughs> I've been considering letting her off the lead because <laughs> it looks like quite a nice open space here, but I don't know what's over the edges. And because she's a bit deaf now in her old age, I don't know if I trust calling her back. So, sorry, Eden. String run for now. What have you found, Eden? What have you discovered? Check out this beautiful site Eden has just found for us. There's a lake up here in the hills. We are on top of the world. Highest point in central Portugal. How does it feel? Cold. cold. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Eden? You cold? Or is your winter coat grown enough? <laughs> You're all right. You're looking the wrong way there, Eden. This is the good view over here. I've seen pictures of this lake in the winter and it freezes over entirely. In fact, this whole area here is completely frozen in the winter. So quite spectacular. Definitely worth coming back for, I think. There's and ski up here. Yeah, there's a ski resort. We saw the, um, what are they called? Ski lifts, yeah, the ski lifts leading all the way up. Well, not all the way up, but from a certain point. So you can come skiing up here. Alright, we've jumped back in the car. There's some serious wind chill out there. <laughs> so we're gonna have some lunch. I picked up some bread rolls and cheese before we left and a couple of apples. So we're gonna eat and then we're gonna do a little bit of filming before we head back down. Jay's just jumped out of the car to see if he can go and find a hot drink. There's a little restaurant here, so see if we can get a cafe con lighter. I couldn't find any places to buy takeaway coffee from. It's a proper restaurant up there and this other shop is just like another cheese shop. So we're just going to eat in here. Sitting up here on this mountain top, surrounded by clouds. Only a few other people around, almost abandoned. Sheltered from the wind, inside our car. Watching the conditions change through the windows, but warm. It's amazing how fast the landscape can go from one thing to another. Fascinating to watch. But soon enough, 
we'll be back out there standing in the cold to experience it in its real form. Believe it or not, we actually just picked up two hitchhikers. I've never done that in my life. <laughs> now we're gonna put Eden in the back of the car. <laughs> Had to squash them in. There you go, you got your seat back. Good girl. We met a German couple that were on top of the summit and they were freezing cold and they just walked 10 kilometers and they could not walk back to their car so we offered to drive them back down. So now we're so close to the town of Mantigas, we might as well just go there. We weren't sure if we were going to make it, but we're only, what, five kilometers away? So we're going to go to Mantigas and see what that looks like. Off they go. Could you imagine if they had to walk all the way back down again? Yeah, it was long. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really long walk. Sat now says it's only 13 minutes away, so let's have a look. The upside to coming this way is the view is actually stunning and we got to see a part of this road that we perhaps wouldn't have seen if we didn't take them. So yeah, there was a, there was a benefit to it in the end. Doesn't it look a bit like whale sash? Those mountains. drive into Mantigas is actually really nice. You get to see a lot of Portuguese villages and viewpoints and lakes and it's just a really stunning drive. Road conditions are really good as well. It's definitely worth doing this loop. The Serra de Estrela National Park is well looked after, you can tell. We've just parked up here now in Mantigas town. Do you want to have a quick look outside? Have a look around. It's really pretty. Views like this everywhere. It does look like it's about to rain though. Lots of cobbled streets when you get to the centre part of town. Barely any traffic though, lots of places to park. On the way in we did see quite a lot of cafes and stuff you could eat at. They look very local, I'm not sure how much English they speak, but I think Antigas is a bit of a tourist village definitely worth taking a detour to if you're around this area. More lovely homes over there. Everywhere you look there's a viewpoint. I've really enjoyed driving around here today, it's been lovely. We left the house this morning to explore Portugal with just an idea. We had no clue what we were really going to discover once we arrived at our destination. This little town of Mantigas, seemingly in the middle of nowhere. I had no idea about it. And just look at how stunning it is. Before we moved to Portugal, again, we didn't know places like this existed. And now, with this discovery, it's sparking a thought in our minds. What else is there to see here, in this amazing place? What a great start to our journey. I think we're gonna head home now. We've been out for quite a few hours. Didn't quite go exactly to plan. I wanted to see more, but I do think that there is so much to discover here. You just have to come back on another day. Hopefully the weather will be nice and we can explore a different part because all, all the way up here on the way, we were like, wow, look at that bridge. Look at that scene. There were so many things to see. So I think we'll be coming back to the Serra de Estrela National Park in the future. Eden doesn't care as usual. She's fast asleep in the back. All right, let's head home. And we are back home. We're just putting together a little pasta salad for dinner. And I think we're gonna eat that and just chill out for a bit and then have an early night. I was really impressed with the day today. The area was absolutely stunning and we'll definitely be going back there. 
so I'm going to end the vlog for today hope you enjoyed it please go ahead and hit the thumbs up button and subscribe and we will see you tomorrow bye